All right, Chilla. What is your awesome thing week? So oh, cool. My awesome thing of the week, and let me see if I can get this to work, because I'm going to turn off my lights, and I'm going to turn this on, and we'll see if it works. If you can tell. There we go. Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> so Royal Kluge makes a gaming keyboard that is both Bluetooth and wireless. Um, and in a wired state, let me see if I can get my lights back on here so you can see, maybe, no, no. Huh, now I'm stuck without lights. Oh, we can go the old fashioned route and hit the switch. Um, <laughs> for, you, for those listening on audio, Chilla just searched around for a while and then had to physically turn around to flip a switch. <laughs> so the, it's USB-C recharging, which is pretty cool. And then it actually has two USB ports if you're using the wired slash charging piece. It, it will support up to two devices via Bluetooth. Um, and then it also has a USB dongle that's, that's uh, 2.4 gigahertz. Um, it, if, you're, if you're an aficionado of switches in your keyboard, um, it does, I got the red switch model. I wanted something that's a little quieter. I don't know if you can, it's not too loud. Um, it's not like the click, 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 click. Um, but they do sell red and red, blue and brown switches, I think it is, um, which can give you the, the harder, harder feedback and the, the click when you press down. It will have, a, it does have a couple different modes that you can make those, the, the lights, um, animate in, um, and what uh, the other thing that I liked about it too, because as I rebuild my office, I'm doing a bunch of stuff, but the actual shell of it comes off, and now I'm not going to be able to get it off because I was playing with it earlier. There we go. The shell comes off, and then you can actually have the light shoot out from the sides and through the keys, which I thought was pretty nice. So, um, and the keys are removable. I'm actually going to get custom keys printed um for the control windows alt so i have the mac set up um and there's a couple places online that have the the uh the keys and the gra different graphics to pick from um for your key replacements which i thought was pretty cool um so royal kluge they make a bunch of different keyboard models this is like the 66 model it's 66 keys um and it's partially mechanical check them out how much was that? Um, do to do. Now you're asking the hard questions. Sorry. <laughs> fifty eight, fifty eight dollars and forty nine cents. Um, it was sixty five bucks with a uh, couple bucks off there, six fifty off. I do see them get sales on occasion, um, but if you're looking for kind of a multi connection device, which I have to have for the multiple PCs. Um, without buying something that like lets me do something with software. Um, you're that's pretty that's a pretty average price point for connecting up to um, three or more devices simultaneously. Can you program the lights that are on there to do different designs or they, there's pre-configured ones. I don't think this model has it where I can totally customize it. Like I've seen some of like the Corsair and some of the other like the when they, they have like the Black Widow. Um, there's some of them that, I mean, you can spend two, $300 on keyboards. I think when you, I, I think to get up with a fully customizable light display, um, you're probably talking like 125, I think, for like a pretty good manufacturer. Even the Corsair K57, that's um, like an RGB multi-pattern, um, it doesn't, I don't think it even has, and that was almost 80 bucks. Um, it does not have cust fully customizable uh, animations. And this is one color, this is solid. This is that solid ice blue color. But th there are the ones that are obviously RGB and then you can mix and, mix and match. And then if you really wanna go down the rabbit hole, there's, you can get all kinds of, um, Keycap replacements, HyperX makes makes a bunch of gamer the putting keycaps, the double their double shot setup. Um, some have the solid color with a translucent bottom three quarters, um, where only the top of the key is actually colored in. Um, I've seen ones that I've seen actually a uh, 
a Mandalorian Grogo, Grogo uh, key um, that's actually used for the escape key. There's there's some pretty cool customizable stuff out there. It amazes me that how far like keyboard technology has gone since you know even 10 15 years ago you, you look back at the old keyboards that we had that you would just you could just toss them around a room and you worked in it everyone i'm sure sorg has a, a huge bin of like keyboards in his house and now you know now you're gonna you can spend up to the price of like a chromebook oh, definitely and, and most of them are they the, either they're people looking for very specific tactile feedback or they're looking for something like the gamer, something they can show off on, on Twitch or whatnot. I've actually seen people on the TikToks um, that are actually sponsored by different keyboard manufacturers, wow. um, and they get they get keycap shipments every week for a review. Um, and they also have, they actually have this device. They put the keys in, so they don't have to keep flip flopping them in and out of keyboards. But they'll have like the the different switches, so they can actually test. Um, it's like a whole panel of of switches and keys. The keyboard's really, it's good looking. It, it reminds, so I, I bought the Apple um, Bluetooth keyboard from Apple and the click sounds are obnoxious. Like how loud they, I like I like the feedback, but it, the sound is just so loud that it, it it's really annoying. And that's your keyboard sounds, looks, has a similar look and feel and does not seem nearly as loud. Yeah, it's the, when you get into the red or no i'm sorry when you get into the brown switches and the what's like i'm i'm not i'm not well versed in my uh keyboard the blue and brown switches are the louder like old school ps like the old school ps1 or whatever you would have it back in like elementary school with the click 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 real loud clicking mm -hmm. But the red's a nice, soft, subtle, but it still gives like a nice pressure. That's awesome. Yeah, because, uh, well, you're going to have to work and, and mm. memorize all this stuff. So you'll be ready to uh, get your um, sponsorship, keyboard sponsorship. Mm -hmm. that's, that's what I need. 